Kraken is one of the largest new developments in the UK North Sea since Buzzard. The North, Central and South Kraken fields are located in the East Shetland Basin within Block 92B, approximately 350 kilometres northeast of Aberdeen and west of the North Viking Graben. The fields comprise oil accumulations located in Heimdall III reservoir formations 4,000 feet below the surface of the sea in water depths of between 350 and 410 feet. Kraken was discovered in 1985. Subsequent appraisals were carried out over the last six years, leading up to Enquest's sanction of the current development plan. Enquest will deploy the same integrated project development capabilities on Kraken as it did with the Dons and Almagalia developments. The Kraken area will be developed during a continuous drilling campaign with a number of pre-drilled wells completed prior to first oil. Kraken South, the largest of the three fields, will be developed first using 13 development wells. Once production has begun here, 12 additional wells will be used to develop the remaining fields, with Kraken Central being addressed first, then Kraken North. The wells and subsea infrastructure are designed and positioned to optimise both the installation process and the long-term performance and maintenance of the facilities. The wells will be tied back through a series of subsea drill centres to a central floating production storage and offloading vessel, or FPSO, on the surface. The FPSO will process and store recovered oil before offloading it to a shuttle tanker. The vessel also provides the required control, testing and accommodation facilities. Enquest acquired its interest in Kraken in 2012, becoming the operator in September that year. Detailed front-end engineering design for this major project commenced in spring 2013, and the project was sanctioned in the second half of 2013. First Oil is anticipated to be in 2017. Phase 1 of the project will involve multiple production and injector wells. Production wells will be completed with open-hole gravel-packed sand screens to deal with unconsolidated sands. Artificial lift will be achieved using a hydraulic submersible pump system, or HSP. This proven enhanced production technology was selected over alternative methods such as electrical submersible pumps and jet pumps as a way of optimising flow assurance, operability and reliability. The HSPs are deployed within the well completion and located just above the reservoir. They are powered using pressurised water conveyed from the FPSO via a dedicated subsea HSP power water line. Power water is pumped down the well annulus to drive a turbine, which shares a common drive shaft with the pump. Spent power water is commingled with the produced fluid at the pump discharge, with the combined fluids flowing back to the FPSO. Each of the wells terminates at a drill centre consisting of pipeline end termination structures, or plets, which are housed in a manifold installed on the seabed. The drill centres distribute injection water and HSP power water and receive the produced oil. Drill centres 1 and 2 will be installed in 2015 in order to develop Kraken South. Additional drill centres DC3 and DC4 will subsequently be installed to serve Kraken North and Central. The modular format of the manifolds allows additional drill centres to cater for expansion of the development. From the drill centres, a set of 12-inch rigid flow lines laid in a series of trenches transports oil, associated gas and HSP power water from the individual well trees to the FBSO. The flow lines are insulated to maintain their internal temperature and pressure and rock dumped to protect their structural integrity. The production and water injection flow lines connect to the FBSO turret via dynamic flexible risers installed in a tethered lazy wave configuration. This allows the FBSO to move both vertically and laterally without disturbing its subsea connections.
The FPSO is a specially commissioned monohull vessel with a 25-year design life. Although securely moored to the seabed, it is allowed to weather vane around the turret and withstand extreme weather conditions without losing its station. On board the vessel are numerous process facilities, including separators, treatment units, produced water handling and chemical injection systems. Here too are the control, safety and power generation facilities, as well as accommodation for the operations, maintenance and marine crews. The vessel has a storage capacity of 600,000 barrels of crude oil, which is stored in five sets of cargo oil tanks, prior to offloading to a shuttle tanker. As operator of the Kraken Field, Enquest's top priority is to deliver results without harm to people and the environment. We have robust systems in place to ensure that health, safety, environment and assurance standards are maintained across every stage of the development process and throughout the operational life of the Kraken facilities. Development of Kraken is not without its challenges, of course, but thanks to the collaboration and cooperation of Enquest and its partners, we are in a great position to deliver success. The fields are expected to continue producing for around 25 years, contributing approximately 140 million barrels of oil to future energy requirements. In the future, additional prospects may be developed and tied back to the existing facilities, further enhancing the economics and extending the longevity of the Kraken development. Kraken, a major addition to Enquest's portfolio and a key part of our asset base.